Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Nick Dyer from Hewlett Packard Enterprise and today I'm joined by Kev Ridings. Thanks Nick, uh, Kevin Ridings from Veeam Software. Today this video is going to cover a bit more detail on HPE storage awareness and snapshots together with Veeam Cloud Data Management. So Kev, would you kick us off with uh, just walking through what we have on the screen here, please? Sure, yeah, thanks, Nick. So what we have here is um, some VBR objects. We have Veeam Backend Replication, Proxy and Repository. We have a production environment on the left here. And, and really, I'm, I'm going to go through uh, the standard process of, of creating uh, a backup without storage integration for, to, to set us rolling. So in the Veeam Backup Replication interface itself, you would select the number of VMs, virtual workloads, that you wish to protect. Once we've selected those, we've got those within a scheduled job, we can then, when we start the job, perform some in-guest quiescence. So we can actually go into the VM itself, we can trigger any VSS writers for Exchange, applic uh, other applications like Active Directory and SQL. We can run any script, pre-freeze, post-thaw scripting that we need to do, maybe for some complex applications, and we can, of course, truncate any logs that we, we need to perform as well. Once we've got that in-guest quiescence, we create a hypervisor, and in this case, a VMware uh, snapshot to capture uh, that data set in that quiesced state. And for non-storage integrated backups, that is when we would actually start to move data. We would access the snapshot virtual machines. We would then start to transit the data, dedupe, and compress. That snapshot would be in, 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 in place for the duration of the backup, and that can cause particular issues, which we'll come on to in a couple of minutes. So with that workflow, typically you have a backup window, mm -hmm. which is doing this backup as part of the snapshot, and that's doing a VM stun operation as well, which is very lengthy. It might also have be very over. It might be quite a big overhead on performance of the, of the workloads. It certainly can. It can. It can impact the the production workloads. Absolutely. Yeah. And typi so typically, what happens in these kind of environments is up here. If I would like to draw you right here, you will see that we have typically a twenty four hour backup window. Right. So you've got eight pm kickoff. It might be another twenty four hours for a next backup window, and that's your restore points. So absolutely. you've only got a single restore point every twenty four hours. If something was to go wrong in, in like seven o'clock, the only restore point you have is to go back to 8 p.m. the last day, which is 23 hours behind. Absolutely, and, and the reason for not maybe having so frequent backups during the day, which can be possible in some environments, is you potentially are impacting the production environment without the storage snapshots. So if we move through to having that integration into the storage underneath and, and, and what that can actually mean, so we, we go through exactly the same process. If we have storage integration, we select the VMs, we go in guest, we can trigger those VSS writers, run scripts, truncate logs. We still take that hypervisor-based snapshot, but at that point, we orchestrate and control a snapshot down on the nimble storage in, in this example. We then immediately commit this snapshot up here. So rather than it being in play for the duration of the backup, it's in play for five, 10 seconds. So it's had no time to grow to any particular size. So when you come to commit that, stun will not occur. You will not be impacting upon that particular workload or set of workloads. So storage array-based snapshots with Veeam is not something that's solely based on Nimble, right? So it's available for many different storage vendors. The reason why it's so compelling on Nimble is primarily because some of the snapshot, the restore, and the cloning technologies really are best of breed. So on the Nimble array, it could be an all flash, it could be a hybrid flash, it could be generation one all the way up to our most recent generation platforms. On those arrays, the experience is exactly the same. You can do 10,000 snapshots per volume, and you can take 190,000 snapshots on the entire array. So that could be 10K per volume, 190,000 per array, which is a considerable amount. Mm. Some storage arrays would only really take 256 Absolutely. or even less. These snapshots do not have any performance overhead, so you can take them whenever you like, augmented through Veeam. That, they have no performance overhead whatsoever, so you can have lots of restore points. So I could now have maybe a bi-hourly or even hourly snapshot, or even 30 minutes. 
but I'm doing that on an individual set of VMs. So I could now set most important VMs snapshotting every hour, maybe some silver VMs, mid-tier important, maybe being every hour or every couple of hours, and so on and so forth. It does not have any performance overhead on your primary storage or your secondary storage on the Nimble platform. And, and to take that a little bit further, to, to, to understand the, the true capabilities uh, of, of the integration, of course, we, we, we capture that um, uh, Quiest data set down on the Nimble in a series of snapshots, as Nick uh, suggested there, bi-hourly, hourly, or, or, or every half hour, perhaps, on the primary device. But what we can also do is we can orchestrate a replication to a secondary Nimble device as well. So giving you the ability to adhere to our 321 that we, 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 we like to talk about, three copies of your data, two different media types. And having the ability to move them in a very efficient way onto the secondary device really delivers a great value. I think Nick can probably explain a little bit better about the efficiencies of moving those snapshots. Absolutely, so the, the snapshot technologies on Nimble are no dupe by design. So the array does full deduplication and compression. The snapshots that we take are point in time redirect and write snapshots using metadata. So we're not copying blocks from tier to tier. We're just taking snapshots of the metadata. Because of that, it's incredibly efficient and it's instantaneous. When Veeams tells us to take a replica, we take a replica using the metadata of only the change deltas, which are also compressed. So we're doing nimble-based replication here, and our deduplication is globally within a single domain of the array. So we're not deduping within a backup job, we're deduping across the entire platform, which gives you even greater data reduction. That's gonna land on another platform, and guess what? Well, you can have those snapshots, but you can now retain years worth of snapshots on here, should you wish to, maybe on a hybrid array that might be a better cost per gig. This could be an all flash array. You could have like 60, 90 days over here, even further, if you want to have that instantaneous primary base restores. And then it's such, such great technology, such great efficiency as being able to move the, the, the data sets between uh, the two locations. But of course, they're all application consistent. For, for, for all the VMs we've captured, application consistent here and also here as well, all orchestrated from within Veeam backup and replication. But there is a next step. There is something else that, that is possible. Backing up data, taking data out of a system is one of the largest things you do to an environment. It's one of the heaviest things you do. So ideally, you want to be able to move it out of band. So there's the full backup from primary and backup secondary, which we'll go through here. So we've talked about creating an application consistent snapshot here. If you wish to take a backup from the primary, then what we would actually do is we would mount a clone of the snapshot in question to our proxy. And then once we had that, we would then be able to write that data via the repository service down to something like a store once. And that gives us the ability to have, as we have here, off technology, 24-hour um, periodic backups but we still have that snapshot chain here. But that's taking it out of the primary. We can move that further away. Because we're replicating the data um, and the snaps and possibly with a dissimilar retention to the secondary device, we don't have to, if we wish to take a backup, take it out of the primary. Because we've replicated that data set, we can then mount via a clone, via the proxy, and write the data out of the secondary device, not the primary taking that huge data move, that externalization of that data from the Nimble storage layer out to a secondary device, taking it far, far further away from production with almost an impossibility of impact on the production workloads. So one of the most common questions a lot of customers ask is, I want to back up from my secondary site. So I, I don't want to have this on my primary. I want to replicate to the secondary, back up from the secondary onto a tertiary, longer term archive. This is exactly what we're doing here. So you've got primary with your production, you've got your secondary site as a, as a replication. You can back up directly from replication onto your other landing zone. You could have this active-active if you wanted to, right? So you could have active workloads on both sites, replicating bidirectionally, with each one being a backup of each other going to somewhere else. So you've got lots of flexibility in all of this. 
Um, one of the things that Kev mentioned was it uses cloning technology for this. So nimble cloning on the platform essentially is instantaneous. And that clone is zero copy. So we do not copy any blocks of data. We just promote the metadata and the associated blocks alongside it as a writable version of the snapshot. So again, it's instantaneous. It has no performance overhead and Veeam can orchestrate and augment everything itself. So you don't manage any of it on this platform. You're not managing this. Everything through one management plane, which is Veeam. And, and, and to sort of speak to that one management plane, we've, we, we've used that to create the data sets, create those uh, quiest uh, and, and replicated sets of data, even out to a tertiary device. Once we have them there, we have the ability to recover from all those different locations using things like our uh, Explorer for storage snapshots. So that's the ability to mount the snapshot from primary or secondary, or if we're talking other types of recovery, out of the tertiary device. But we can mount those snapshots, explore them for virtual machines and perform uh, instant VM recovery. We can uh, perform application item recovery for things like Exchange. So we would be able to mount out of a secondary and within four clicks, have a view into our mailboxes within perhaps our exchange server and be able to recover email items, calendar items, contact items, perhaps out to an MSG or into a PST, send that to a user, recover it to 365. Really so many options from either a storage snapshot on primary or secondary or out on a tertiary long-term retention such as a, a store once. The explorers are really very powerful. They, they give the user the ability to perform perhaps complex recoveries, things like um, uh, for, for SharePoint, for Active Directory, as I said, and there's some great features within the Active Directory. You can actually compare the states of Active Directory with the snapshot or backup state with the now state. So it's even beyond a recovery feature. We'll probably do a more specific video a little later um, on really deep dive into the explorers themselves. But just to expand upon that a little bit, so with the explorers from primary, secondary, or from backup, that really helps us drive the, the, into a video we did uh, uh, some time ago around leveraging data. So it gives us the ability to launch and power on any virtual machines in, in, in our data labs as well. So that's, that's really a linked and advanced feature and really enhancing the, the, the feature set that we have between the HPE um, storage integration and Veeam's uh, backup replication capabilities. So what you'll see here is it truly is market lead integration. Um, the, the ability to have um, all flash, hybrid flash, it doesn't really matter. Any generation, again, it doesn't matter. As long as you're on NimbleOS, I believe it's 4.0 and above, you've got this. You don't pay for the software features, it's all built in. As long as you have Veeam, you get all of this workflow. And the big benefit of all of this is you are not having any load on the production environment whatsoever. You back it all off onto the storage, and the storage is more than capable of doing it, and you get all of these advanced workflows, more importantly, as a generalist. You don't absolutely. have to have uh, a degree in any of this stuff to be able to configure it. You, yeah, absolutely. You don't need to be the storage guy to perform a recovery. You are the restore operator. It is so straightforward. And, and really, just to so again draw attention to, to the top piece here, it's about blending the use of technologies. Veeam and Nimble together, a backup isn't to replace a snapshot. It's about blending the value of both of them together. The snapshots being spaceless, very efficient in time, and then backups being true off, off technology, so not affected. You maybe heard me talk about threat planes and threat domains. So blending the use of the two technologies together really gives you that really robust uh, and, and feature-rich restore capability. And uh, for business owners, the ability to roll back for an hour or a day or a month or a year or even multiple years through one place, augmented by technology without having to really know about it, is there's a huge amount of power there. But even just be able to go, well, I can offer the business a one-hour uh, one, one hour RPO, RTO, that is going to save so much time and effort, especially if you think about ideas, well, not ideas, but if you think about um, ransomware or if you think about issues that we're now seeing, everything now runs 24-7. I need to get data back now and easily and actually to a very, very close restore period. This is how we do it. So thank you very much for watching this video. We hope it's been useful. 
If you'd like to see the other videos in this series, we'll make sure that we put them in the description bar below. But for now, for me, Nick, and for, for Kevin from Veeam, thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank you.